Yo, what's up guys, Surf and Torque here. League Play just came out, so I figured in today's video we're gonna go over one of the most used League Play create a class loadouts that there is. It's gonna be the AK-74U paired with the Diamati. I'm gonna go over which equipment's the best to use, I'm gonna go over which perks are the best to use, which attachments for both guns. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to get all the details on everything you need to make the ultimate Call of Duty League loadout. Real fast before and get in the video, make sure you guys drop a like if you enjoy this video at any time. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on our way to 2,000 subscribers, so if you guys can help me get there, that would be absolutely fantastic. That being said, let's just jump right into this video. First thing we're going to be doing for this AK-74U class, of course, is going to be equipping the AK-74U submachine gun. And then we're going to be going over which attachments I chose and why. First off here, we're going to choose the muzzle, and the muzzle we're going to go with is going to be the muzzle brake 5.45. It's going to give you plus 4% vertical recoil control as your pro, and there's actually going to be no cons for this, so it's just going to give you a little boost in the vertical recoil, but the overall thing about this, I think that there's no cons, so it doesn't slow down your gun or it doesn't make it jump up anymore. It still keeps it pretty, pretty accurate. The second attachment we're going to be choosing is going to be the barrel, which is going to be the 9.3 inch extended. It's going to give you plus 40% bullet velocity, so overall, your bullets are going to get to the enemy faster, meaning your DPS is going to be faster, meaning you can kill somebody faster. And then again, there's going to be no cons, so there's going to be no setbacks for this gun with this extended barrel attachment on. The third attachment is the underbarrel, and the one we're going to be going with is going to be the Spetsnaz Speed Grip. The pros are going to be 10% sprinting move speed, so overall you sprint a little bit faster. It's going to give you plus 15% horizontal recoil control, so when you're aiming down sights at an enemy, you're not going to be moving left or right very much, so you're going to be staying on target, hitting your shots. And then the cons here are going to be minus 6% movement speed, minus 6% shooting move speed, and then minus 6% aim walking movement speed. Overall, it slows you down just a little bit, but it is still as an SMG, so you do move faster than you would with most guns. I didn't really notice a movement difference in my opinion. The next attachment is going to be the handle, and the one I chose was the Gru Elastic Wrap. Pros here are going to be plus 30% aim down sight time, so of course you can ADS faster, plus 90% flitch resistant. So if you're getting shot at while aiming down sights, most likely your target 9 times out of 10 wherever you're aiming is gonna stay on point. And then of course you can aim while going prone, which basically means you can drop shot with this attachment. The cons here are gonna be minus 10% shooting move speed and then minus 15% sprint to fire time. So overall pulling up your gun might be a little slower, but I think that this attachment definitely is one of the best ones that we can have here in league play. And then the fifth and final attachment for this gun is going to be a stock, and the one that I chose was the KGB Skeletal Stock. Pros here are going to be plus 30% sprint to fire time, so again, we actually gained sprint to fire time from our last attachment. And then plus 10% aim walking movement speed, so when you're aiming down sights and walking left, right, or forward, you're going to be going a lot faster too. And then the only con here is going to be minus 30% hip fire accuracy, so again, Aiming down sights is probably the best thing to use while using this gun. Hip fire will not be super accurate unless your barrel is right up against their chest. Those were the attachments for the AK-74U. In this video, I said that I was gonna go through an entire class, so that's what I'm gonna do. So for the secondary, you can really do anything. I know a lot of people like to do a sniper and everything like this, but in this class that I used for this video and the map raid, I used a Diamati as my secondary. And then the attachments that I used on those were the muzzle, which was going to be the muzzle brake nine, which is gonna help with vertical recoil control. Then it was a barrel, which was the 7.8 inch extended, which is gonna give you plus 40% bullet velocity. Then it was going to be the body, which was a steady aim laser, the only one that was available. It was a plus 15% hip fire accuracy. Then we moved on to the magazine, which was the 24 round. It basically gave you magazine ammo capacity, max starting ammo and ammo capacity overall, plus 60% in all of those sections. And then the only con here was minus 10% reload quickness. And then last, it was the handle, which I chose the speed tape. And then it gave you just plus 10% aim down sight time with no cons, which is really good as well. So then for the next part, we're gonna go over the tacticals, lethals and field upgrades. Tactical I chose was gonna be a stun grenade. Overall, I think being able to stun somebody if they take effect after it and then you making your move to kill them is a very big game changer, especially in an objective-based game modes, which League Play all have. 
The lethal I chose was a Semtex. I just like Semtex a little bit better than Frag Grenade in this game. Not really sure why, why the preference is. I think maybe just because it explodes a little bit faster. But yes, overall I chose Semtex for lethal. The field upgrade I chose, which is an absolute must here. You have a couple options between Trophy System, Assault Pack, or Sam Turret. Absolutely go for Trophy System. When you're playing objective-based game modes, you're gonna be going on the point a lot. You're gonna be defending a point a lot. You're gonna to wanna to put down a trophy system because people are gonna be lobbing in grenades. People are gonna be lobbing in lethals, tacticals, and everything like that. So you wanna take up as much as you can. Plus the trophy systems have no limit on how much stuff they can block unless somebody shoots them. So they're very, I wanna say maybe a little bit overpowered right now. So I would definitely run that for sure. Then before we jump right into the perks, we're gonna be selecting the wild card which the one that we're going to be choosing is going to be lawbreaker basically it lets you equip any weapon class in either slot so if you want to do a secondary sniper rifle you can i will be doing a video on which sniper i like to do and then this also lets you equip multiple perks for one category which is going to be very important so for your three perks the first perk you want to choose is going to be flak jacket from the perk one slot it's going to be take less damage from enemy explosives and molotovs or combat bow flames. So overall, if people are throwing grenades at you, you can take a couple hits. The second perk you want to choose, again, it's going to be a red perk. It's going to be tactical mask. Basically, you're going to be able to be resistant to flash grenades and stun grenades and then immune to gas, which is also super important. So when people try to stun you, you're not going to take as much of a hit from those items. And then perk number three, actually we're gonna be going to the third slot. It's going to be the yellow perk. We're gonna be choosing Ninja. Of course, you're gonna be being able to move more quietly. And then your character is only gonna talk when it's necessary. And the only thing that I've really seen where my character would talk would be when I mantle something or jump up on something, he'll make like a little grunting noise. But other than that, he's pretty quiet. Footsteps are pretty quiet. So you can definitely flank behind people and they really won't notice. But overall, this is the class that I've used in the game that you see right now. I think that it went very well. We won. I know League Play is very, very hard at times. So that's why I'm trying to make classes that people can use to try to take advantage of so they can win as much as they can. Of course, skill comes with a part of that, but also having a nice class does as well. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, if you guys are going to test this one out, if you guys are going to use it, drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And then also comment down below. Let me know what classes you want to see next. Let me know what guides you want to see next going to be making content more regularly now so i cannot wait for that and if you guys are new here and you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification so you guys know when i come out with my brand new loadouts my brand new guides all my brand new content around call of duty gonna be grinding a lot here we're on the road to 2k subscribers so if you guys could definitely hit that sub button that would be absolutely fantastic with that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching check out my channel for more videos and i'll catch you in the next one peace